Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Hadrian here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. As you can tell from the title of this video, today is going to be a haul. So if you guys are interested in seeing the thrifting video for this particular haul, I'll have a link right there. It was actually this morning's um, kind of like thrifting vlog video. We went to three different thrift stores. We went to a veterans thrift. We went to a good... We are... Bleh, 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 bleh. And to two goodwills. I can't even talk anymore. So if you guys are love thrifting videos, haul videos, handbag rehabs, and vlogs, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button for notifications. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at itshadrian.com where I'm going to have a lot of these items for sale if anyone is interested. Um, hopefully I have most of these items up in the shop, but if you don't see something, let me know. Um... Yeah, <laughs> like I literally thrifted these items today and you guys are going to see it tomorrow. So like I thrifted these items in less than 24 hour time window. So um, haven't had enough time to photograph everything, but hopefully I'll have them all up by next week. Uh, I don't think any of the clothes are going to be up yet, but the clothes are pretty good. So this is going to be a really, it's a, a pretty good thrift haul. Um, maybe I would call it epic perhaps. Um, let me actually start off with this item. Because it's like right here and it's like one of my favorite things that I got. And it is this blue and white elephant. It's amazing. It's actually um from the Bombay company. If you guys are familiar with that store, it's like a furniture or accessory store. And I have actually thrifted numerous pieces from this exact collection. Um, two trays, uh, a teapot, teacups and three matching um, candlestick holders. So I'm doing pretty well with this collection. I feel like, it, I, I don't know what it is. Um, every time I see it, like the blue and white, I'm just like, oh my gosh. And then I look it up and it just happens to be um, from the Bombay company and it happens to be part of that collection. So I was very excited for this elephant. Um, I have seen other like little pedestal tables like this. And actually, the last, the most recent one was from the Pottery Barn, yeah, from Pottery Barn, and it was at the Pottery Barn outlet, and I remember I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute, but then I, like, I showed it to mom, and she was like, wait a minute, like, the trunk is going downwards, and I guess in, um, Asian culture, if the trunk is not facing upwards, then it's, like, not lucky or something, so, like, the trunk has to be going up like this. And that means it's good luck, prosperity, and so I was very happy to find this. And if you guys have watched any of my um, other thrifting videos or vlogs, you'll know that blue and white is one of my favorite color combinations for decor. Um, so very excited to have this. And I don't know if I'm going to keep it inside or outside. You know, uh, it can go anyway. I'll probably put like a, a plant on top of it. And I think that's going to look fantastic. Okay, so... Um, let me actually start off with what I ended up getting from the Veteran Surf. That was actually from the last Goodwill that we visited. And I don't even know why I showed it to you so early, but <laughs> whatever. Um, okay, so this next thing that I have here is this t-shirt. I think I'm going to have to keep this for myself. And it says, periodically, I am smarter than you. And I thought this was so funny because I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but I have talked about it before. I am a pretty big science geek. I actually majored in biology. Cell and developmental was my concentration in college. And I took many a chemistry classes. So um, I think this is very fitting. And this one was a $2 shirt. It's no brand. It's just like... I. I'm pretty sure someone just made it and then had it printed on here. Like, they designed it and had it printed. So, it's just on a Gildan shirt. So, I'm very excited about this shirt. Um, hopefully, you'll be seeing me wearing it very soon. What else do we have here? Okay, the next item I have here is this Vera Bradley little shoulder bag. It's so cute. It's in a beautiful bright blue and it's crazy because this little bag was only 75 cents that is i think that's like literally one of the cheapest bags i've ever purchased in my whole 
time thrifting. 75 cents is really, really cheap. And that's, like, I think, like, one of the cheapest things that I probably thrifted as of late was a Vera Bradley pouch, I think. And it was, like, around 25 cents. And now I got this guy for the lower price of 75 cents. And I actually paid more for some Vera Bradley pouches than I did for this bag. So it's crazy, but this bag is really cute. I love the color. Nice and lightweight. It's perfect for summer. And yeah, Vera Bradley. And a lot of you guys have been loving Vera Bradley recently. So, and have been actually asking me to pick up more pieces. So this is for you guys. I'm very excited. I just put up um, a set of three Vera Bradley makeup bags. Uh, in my shop, so check that out as well, and this is definitely gonna go up, and, oh, I thought this was possibly the matching piece, but it's not. It's, like, a little bit darker blue, but really cute nonetheless. So, there's that. And then the next item I have here, this is a really cute double pouch. There's, like, two. Little cross body bag, and it's in a beautiful metallic pink color it reminds me very much of the celine trio but it really only has one zipper but it has two pouches really cute it's a brand called and other stories which um i looked up because I've, I've heard about it before and i've never really found one of their bags in store before and they actually are pretty pricey i think they're like their bigger handbags start around like $300 or so and this one was just really cute. I do love a good little crossbody bag and This one is really cute and it actually holds a lot because the it expands really nicely and this guy was $4.98 so this was $5 really really cute. This is gonna go up in the shop too and a lot of you guys also like these smaller crossbodies plus I feel like metallic colors are very in right now. So that's very exciting. And then the last item that I picked up from the Veterans Thrift is this Corret shoulder bag. There you go. It has like this cute little um, buckle thing there that it opens up by close or it opens up by pinching these two together and it when I first saw it, I was like oh my gosh it kind of looks like the Fendi peekaboo because of this little accent right here but it's just one opening and then this little guy pops up and then you're welcomed to a beautiful leopard print lining which I think is really fun and I really like this um, embossed crocodile patent leather in black with a silver hardware. I just think this is like a really sharp bag. It looks beautiful. It's classic. And I think it is like a bag that you can use all year round. And it just looks beautiful. And it's very classy and classic. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I actually have to show this to mom. She might like it. But she's been very been into crossbody bags recently. And this unfortunately does not have a crossbody strap. But the top handle is very nice. And the bag itself is very substantial, but it's not, like, super heavy, which is nice. Okay, and then that is what I got from the Veterans Thrift. Now, the next item, or the next door, I have a big bag of stuff from. What did I, I honestly don't even remember what I bought. Oh, I do remember. Okay, let me start off with these dresses. So, the first thing that I have here... I had to get this. This was so pretty, so summer, and it is this beautiful free people dress. It's a size 4. Ooh. I'll try to insert a photo of it like all the way, like back to my eyeball, <laughs> um, of it like all the way up, but it's really, really pretty, and very like bohemian chic very flowy and fun just a gorgeous gorgeous dress and it was eight dollars and 49 cents i thought this dress was stunning honestly it's so pretty then i had to get this other dress because i thought it was beautiful as well and it's by a brand called faithful um i wasn't too familiar with the brand itself but then I looked it up and I was like, whoa, these dresses 
are really like expensive and like you you can just tell by feeling the fabric and everything like it's really really nice and I really like it of course it's like blue and white which is obviously like like I just showed you my elephant it's one of my favorite color combinations and this one is I think it's also a size four and I think the same person donated the these both both of these dresses because they were together um on the rack and it's kind of like one of these dresses like like I think like your oh yeah I, I like it's not one of these, like, it has, like, the armpit thing. So, like, your arm goes over, and then, like, it goes through this, and then it's like that. You know, I, I can't even explain it. But it's really, really pretty, and it's long and flowy and bohemian, just like the other one. And it's gorgeous. So, I'm very excited about both of these dresses going up in the shop. I'm really, like hopeful about adding clothing to the shop a lot of you guys have been asking me to expand the items that i have in there and i've been slowly adding clothing pieces and home decor shoes um and other things other than just handbags and what i love about handbags is that you and you don't have to like be a certain size to carry a handbag any handbag can be used by pretty much anyone you know uh whereas clothing and shoes and stuff like that has like size restrictions and all that so but handbags yeah they're universal that's why i really really do like thrifting them okay i know these are gonna be these are like super exciting for me um the first one i have here and it is this beautiful printed like pink hermes bag it's so cute. It's just like printed on like a nylon tote, but it's like sublimated. So it's like the whole bag is printed on here, even the sides and even the very bottom. It's super cool. It even has a long strap, zips across the top. And I have found these in the past. I, did, I haven't found one for a while. So I was very excited when I came across this one and it's like a hot pink. So this is definitely going up in the shop. And it's really, really cute. I like it. How fun is that? I, I really want one of these, like, in a yellow or a bright cobalt blue. Um, I had one before in a green, and I kind of regret selling it because I thought that was such a cool bag. And I was like, no, nah, I'll just sell it because a lot of people are asking me about it. But hopefully one day, like, we're, I'm going to pray really hard right now. Please, maybe find one in a yellow or a green or an orange. <gasps> that would be amazing. Okay, anyway. But this is so cute, and I'm so thankful to have found this in the thrift store, and really excited to bring it to you guys. So, there's that bag. Super duper cute. Um, up next, I really like this bag too. This one is so cute. At first, when I saw it, I thought it was a coach. It was inside the case. And then I saw the key, and I was like, ah, it's a fossil. Then, upon closer inspection, I was right. It was a fossil, and this bag is really, really cute nice i love all the details on it and i love like this buckle detail i love these little like cinch details on the side now it doesn't come with a crossbody strap and i don't think it did ne like necessarily come with one but you can very easily attach them to these rings on the sides and it would be a beautiful crossbody bag and then the interior is really nice and clean has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets right there and it's really cute and this is just this whole thing is just magnetic and just snaps closed really cute and then there's like the little fossil keyhole in the very back as well so this bag has so many details and you guys know uh, if you're familiar with fossil these the most beautiful leathers and this one is no exception the leather on this bag is exceptional and it's a beautiful smooth smooth leather really really pretty so there's that bag can't wait to get that up in the shop. <gasps> okay, now this one I'm not too sure if I'm gonna be selling it because I have like high hopes for doing something with this bag. Now, um, there's a lot of things that I've been thinking about doing with it, but um, let me show it to you guys first. And it is this, it's definitely fake. <laughs> it's a fake Louis Vuitton um, Neverfull GM. Oh, that's like a hot mess, huh? And I wanted to kind of like turn it into a planter. I wanted to put like a plant in there. I think it would be so cute. Of course I wouldn't put like the actual plant directly inside. There would still be a like a pot in there to prevent like the water from going everywhere. But I have like a couple 
um, bags that I kind of want to use and like set up like a little like I don't know I don't know I'm still figuring it out I'm not too sure I might just reuse the leather or I actually was thinking about using this bag inside out because I think that's a pretty cool interesting look and I'm like I might as well it's like a it's a big bag anyway but um now this bag was only $5.99 but as you can see some of the interfacing has started popping out of the crossbody or of the crossbody of the handle straps and there's actually a hole right here in the back right there the pipe the lining is already popping out and there's also a little tear right there as well and down here it started to pop through as well but actually that's actually um should be a pretty easy fix i think i'm just gonna paint it with some brown um acrylic paint and then it should be pretty much in visible especially because it's just like the bottom corner so <clears throat> There's that. I'm like hoping one day that I'm going to actually own an authentic Louis Vuitton never full in the GM size. So I'm going to cross my fingers and hopefully one day we'll find one. Uh, okay, so then I went to one more Goodwill and I just have a couple more items to share with you guys. First of all, I have uh, I got these two shirts. I got one for Donna, one for me, and he chose this one. And he's not really into the other. Like you'll see the other one. But this one's really cool. It's just like blue, white, and red. Very patriotic. Very like 4th of July, which just was this past week. But this shirt was only $1.99 and it's a penguin shirt and it literally looks brand new. It's in like such great condition. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get us some shirts. It's going to be fun. I wish they were matching. I love matching John. It kind of annoys him, but then I feel like he kind of likes it at the same time. And I feel like we're twins, so... <laughs> But he hates it when I he hates it when I tell people we're twins or when people think we're twins. I think it's really funny. Um, so this is the neck shirt. He's not really into like the pink stripe, but it's like white with like the pink stripes, and yeah, it's just like a really nice T-shirt. I don't know. This was a dollar ninety nine as well, and I'm just really excited about some new shirts. I don't know. I've been buying a lot of shirts recently. It's like kind of exciting. Um, okay. Then oh. Okay, I totally forgot that I even bought these, um, and I almost didn't, but I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy them, even though Cade might not even use them, because he might get freaked out by them. But I got these really cute Adidas slides, and they're the ones with, like, the little, like, these little, like, sticky outy things, so, what are they? I don't even know what they're called, but it feels like they're massaging your feet when you're walking. Honestly, I'm just going to give these a quick clean, and I think they're going to look really great, but then again... Kate is really picky with his footwear, and I'm not too sure if he's actually going to want to wear these, especially because of, like, the weird texture on the bottom of the shoe, but I think it's cute, and it's literally, like, exactly the same. John has these same exact sandals, but he, his don't have, like, the little, um, prickly things, so we'll see what happens with Kate. Um, I'm sure that I'll, uh, include that in a vlog. <laughs> We'll see what happens. He's probably going to be like, what is this? I don't want to wear this. Why is it prickly? It's hurting me. Uh, <laughs> okay, so up next, I have this leather diesel um, tote shoulder bag. Pretty cool. Like, the there's like a cool embossed print on the leather, and then it kind of it says like diesel on it. And it's just like a nice leather tote bag. Um, I love the long strap. And interior is in okay condition. It's just like a little bit of darkening. Um, there's also like a little bit of like, I don't know, like a stain from wear. But there's a zipper pocket and then, and then like a cell phone pocket. And it's like one of those like cell phone pockets for like a Nokia. So you know, this is a little bit older, probably from like the early 2000s. But it's still, it's like the leather itself is in fantastic condition. So really, really cool. And... What's cool, too, is, like, they lined up the diesel, like, the lo the words, like, they are lined up. Like, even though there's, like, a seam, like, it still says diesel, like, you know, like, when, like, Louis Vuitton does that, or, um, I think sometimes, like, Coach will do that, and other, like, um, designer handbag brands, like, that's fancy. That's a lot of work. That's, like, a lot of premeditated planning and measuring and all that stuff to get, like those things to happen with the um, lining and stuff. 
Okay, so then up next, I have here this beautiful Cole Haan crossbody bag. It's in a dark gray. I was so excited to find this bag because recently I haven't been finding a lot of Cole Haan. That was actually the back, sorry. Here's the front, there's a zipper pocket, and then, um, actually no. Yeah, this is the front. The front's the zipper pocket, this is the back where it says Cole Haan. Um, zipper pocket right there. And then the top opens up, there's another zipper pocket, and then two open. Just a great little crossbody bag. Great size, it's like a different, like, me um, it's a definitely a medium size crossbody bag. And holds a lot without being too bulky. And Kohan, again, is, I feel like it's an, another one of those underestimated brands. Um, their handbags are beautiful, I think they're more well known for their shoes. But I feel like their handbags have been, like, doing really well. And, like, they have really nice designs, and this one is just, like, a nice, simple design, but you still get the great quality and great leather that Cole Haan brings to the table when they have, when they make handbags. And their shoes are really great, too. I love Cole Haan shoes. Um, but, actually, that is it. So, that rounds out today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite item was that we found. And let me know if you guys have found anything really cool recently as well at the thrift stores. I love hearing about your finds as well. And, um, don't forget to check out today's vlog video. It went up this morning, but it was actually a thrift vlog. So, we went to three different thrift stores and... So much fun so hope you guys enjoyed the video um don't forget to subscribe and like and i'll see you guys later bye i found this large coach fabric tote corners aren't too bad there's a little bit of crackling you can see right there on the edge coating of the or the leather handles not even edge coating handles in general five dollars you know this one has a lot of life left the crackling on the handles really can't be, like that's just going to happen eventually over time. The rest of the